Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey guys, I just want to touch base before the video ends. This video is about a serious subject, and it's a subject that's been in the spotlight off and on throughout many years of exploitation of females. Uh, it's also touching base on how these females have taken and put their own lives in their in, in their own hands and their own risks uh, by doing this themselves, by seeing trends and following trends. This video is also about uh, perhaps a less serious topic about social media and the unfair treatment towards a good percentage of people uh, because of the uh, attention that all these females are getting and the money that's being put into these females so the video kind of touches on you know a couple of serious things here but also at the end of the day the video is about me you know coming out and speaking my mind on how all these females are ruining social media for a lot of people now it's one thing if these females like say on Twitch YouTube Facebook and that if they're putting out content that's really real content and really from the heart and it's something they enjoy and they have a passion for uh, hey that's one thing that's great that's needed uh, everyone should be able to uh, share their passions and joys and hobbies and, and loves and and uh, help to inspire others but if you're just out there doing it for attention to shake uh, your body up around and to get paid for it and, and all I'm not for it and I can't support it it's trash and they have sites that are made for that and really the sites that I'm talking about YouTube Twitch Facebook those sites are not made for that, but they've allowed it because it's making them money. It's getting them views. It's getting them advertisers. That's what this video is about. It's not about hate or anything towards females. It's about the hate towards how they're being uh, exploited and used and they're following in the footsteps generation after generation and getting younger and younger uh, to where before long you're going to have five-year-olds you know doing stuff on there that that that's bad <laughs> if it's not already there probably is so that's what this video is about so thanks for watching enjoy hey how's everyone doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking well today's topic is pretty serious uh, it's a problem that I'm only going to touch base with in our country and uh, what I see and what I've seen really my entire life uh, and I'm part of the problem myself and uh, but when you're online you really start to notice these things a lot and when you're on social media uh, you notice these things even more I do have a couple things wrote down here but this problem stems from YouTube to Twitch to Facebook TikTok Instagram OnlyFans and whatever other social media platform that there is now we all know from the beginning of time that sex sells let's face it uh, people love sex and by people I don't mean every single person on the planet uh, is a part of it but there's a vast majority of people that really uh, like sexual content uh, from what I can gather being on social media and, and I'm not going to blame just the fact that my YouTube channel isn't growing or 
that people have problem other people have problems on YouTube or other people are having problems on uh, Twitch and Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and OnlyFans or whatever uh, you know there's a lot of people out there having problems <laughs> with the same thing and what that is is these platforms pushing out all these girls uh, to get views <coughs> we're talking about girls from ages 10 to 30 and it is highly popularized and pushed out there for these girls to put their bodies on the line and show it off in ways that you know you'd have to pay some women on the street to 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 give you these type of views <laughs> to to give you what you're seeing with these girls <clears throat> and uh, the platforms all these different platforms don't care they don't care about these people they don't care about these girls all they're looking at is getting traffic getting advertisers making money giving these young girls some money some attention uh, there's a lot of cases where these young attractive females are actually not only getting paid to do these things but a lot of times uh, a lot of these more popular females out there doing these things they're actually getting support uh, they're getting their whole entire setup given to them PC monitors cameras lighting decorations all these different things and so there's a lot of females out there that are getting set up by these companies to push their bodies out there now I'm gonna insert a lot of pictures that I've downloaded a couple of uh, screen uh, screen grabs and different things I'm gonna insert several along the way and you're gonna see what I'm talking about so I'm gonna read a little bit of what I got here I don't have like real stuff like wrote out to where it's gonna all flow together it's just gonna be sporadic stuff uh, these things uh, these women are being uh, pushed out there and publicized from sports to professional wrestling beauty pageants the gym online videos uh, and more and one thing that gets me about beauty pageants is I thought women didn't want to be judged uh, for outward beauty I thought women wanted to be judged for what's inside beauty pageants hmm older I get the more I think that they're disgusting now don't get me wrong I'm like any good old-fashioned red-blooded man uh, straight man uh, I love a good-looking girl love them I can look at them all day long they're beautiful that's great but there comes a time when these things are being pushed overboard and we're in that time the last five years maybe the last five years or so it's really gotten bad extorting these young girls mm -mm -mm. and the way that these girls dress in public and the way that these girls dress online you know women complain about men looking at them or thinking they're easy to get in bed but do you ever wonder why men think that look at the way you're dressed look at how you present yourself again I'm going to have uh, pictures popping up throughout this video you're gonna see why men think the way that men think <clears throat> really at the end of the day unfortunately who's to blame men that's who as soon as it became apparent that sex sells 
however many generations ago. <laughs> that was it. To prostitution, to nudie magazines, to video porn, to sports, pageants, and uh, all these stupid viral crazed videos. Uh, if we can get a glimpse of anything or even feel just for a second that a girl wants us, we're in. Now I'm going to touch on TikTok. Now TikTok is no different than any other platform. There's tons of different videos and categories and different things. But if you look at TikTok and you look at what they're pushing out there for the girls, notice how it's all these dance crazes. Hey, let's do the no bra challenge. Let's do the open your legs up and stick your crotch in the camera challenge. Let's do the leg up over the head challenge. Let's do the no panties challenge. Let's do the, you know, jumping around and shaking your boobs challenge. Let's do all these different challenges that, at the end of the day, really is pushing the female body out there for views. That's it. Some of these girls understand that. And some of these girls don't. <clears throat> some of these girls just don't get it. And it's, oh, it's just fun. It's just cute. There's nothing wrong with it. Pay attention to what you're doing. You're in a camera, boobs everywhere, crotch in it, and it's a challenge. What kind of challenge is that? Well, the challenge is see how much that they can get away with before they get shut down for pornography. <clears throat> That's what it is. Uh, it's turned all of these girls... Now let's face it, girls are all about attention anyway. From the beginning of time, uh, if you're not giving a girl enough attention, they move on to the next guy. Let's face it. But it's turned these girls into attention-seeking whores. Alright? Look at me, internet sensations, making more money off idiot men and even women. Creating new generations of thoughts. What's a thought? Well, look it up. <laughs> all of this is being put out there as normal now let me touch on something real quick uh, you might be thinking dude what's wrong with you you don't like seeing all this boob and butt and crotch and all this jiggling and hopping and, and all this stuff what are you are you some freaking religious nut no, I'm not a religious nut, I'm not religious at all, I'm atheist slash agnostic, just depends on the day. So no, it's not about religion. It's about having some morals, having a little bit of care for yourself, it's about right and wrong, it's about seeing what the world is doing to these girls. <clears throat> and it's all over. It's all over the place. And these girls, they wonder why you get looked at. Uh, you wonder why you get lewd, crude, and perverted comments. You wonder why you might get even touched. You wonder why you might even get raped. Look no further than yourself. No bra, no panties, no class. You're putting yourselves out there, uh, not only sending a horrible message about yourself, but you're sending a message to other people that you're easy, that you are, uh, that you're wanting things to happen. You look like that kind of person. <clears throat> what we have anymore are females that have no self-respect, no dignity, no shame, no pride, no humility, no morals, no values. Nothing. <clears throat> I wish that I could go on and on, and I wish I had more wrote down, but I don't. Um, I really don't know what to do about the problem, and there's probably nothing you can do. I mean, let's face it. You know, we're but a small crowd of people. What are we going to do? Well, all this is, all this is not only bringing attention to the disgusting uh, trends that we have anymore. It's not just bringing that you know, into, into the spotlight. This video is also touching on 
why it's difficult for good creators like myself to get out there and get popularized and noticed and maybe get our online communities going because when you're throwing out stuff like all these pictures that I'm popping up who who are you gonna watch are you gonna watch a 49 year old man play a video game or paint or talk about a movie or cook or a taste test or go for a bike ride or are you gonna watch all these young girls flipping and flopping around with boobs and butts and everything else popping out <clears throat> who are you gonna watch who are you gonna give your time to if you go on twitch right now and you scroll down you're gonna instantly as soon as you scroll you're gonna start seeing girl after girl after girl after girl after girl 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 boobs hanging out short skirts on short shorts on and they're offering absolutely nothing in their video except that and most of them are on their e-begging what's the e-begging well it's begging for money online now it's nothing new to get paid to be online that's perfectly fine but these girls will these girls will come straight out and let you know even in their title hey we'll bounce for money <laughs> or whatever you know for donations <clears throat> We'll say your name for donations. These girls are nothing but online prostitutes. That's all they are, and that's all our country has turned females into. And we're talking about from birth to death, that's what they're being turned into. Again, I love beautiful females. Love them ever since I was a tiny kid. I've loved females, always beautiful girl nothing better but there comes a time and a place when things need to end when things need to change uh, and the internet is really destroying a lot of these girls and they don't even know it the internet is causing a lot of pain and suffering to these girls and they don't even know it and not only that it's also helping to brainwash boys from this age to this age letting you know giving them thoughts and uh, ideas and hey this girl's easy I'm gonna you know they automatically think she's easy and they're gonna go and and possibly do things you know possibly rape someone possibly you know step over the line with these people and <clears throat> with uh, females in general you know it, it changes your mind it changes your outlook on things so we have a big problem guys and not only does it start with men it starts with these females if you don't have some control over your kids they're gonna grow up to be just like these girls that I'm showing you in these pictures in this video they're gonna grow up to be just like it because it's become the new uh, it's become the uh, just the way of life <clears throat> and again it hurts those of us that are trying to do something decent it hurts those of us uh, that are trying to uh, make some sort of uh, an impact and there's people out you know there's guys out there that do videos and, and all that stuff on all these platforms that are trying to make a living you can make a living online I don't have anything monetized I don't make any money on YouTube Number one, I don't have the qualifications yet to monetize my videos. And number two, even if I did, I wouldn't monetize my videos unless I had an obscene amount of subscribers and viewers and I could make a great amount of money. And that'll never happen. So anyway, I hope that I touched on a subject that maybe gets you to thinking and not so much necessarily just about what it's doing to us men online and uh, all these platforms but what it's doing to all these women I'm sure most of you watching have some sort of a female in your life you need to
talk to them, whether they're young, old, wife, girlfriend, whatever, let them know. Let them know what they're doing and what the world is doing to them because they don't see it. Everything is just blurred to them. It's all about what can you show, what attention can you get, and moving on to the next to the next thing. Getting attention, attention, attention. <sighs> it's not pretty out there, guys. Well, I'm going to end this video. I hope I helped in some way, and I hope I kind of uh, opened your eyes as to what some of the problems are, not only in the world, but, again, with the, uh, the male community online on, the, on all these different platforms and our frustrations and, and what we're dealing with. Well, guys, don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my playlist. Also, just go through the random video section. Stuff all strewn out through there. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And have a good time doing it. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!